Welcome back to Wholesale Automatic Transmissions. My name's Greg, and today we're going to be fitting a uh, transmission cooler into a uh, Trident. Okay, the first step is to remove the, uh, the, the top shroud here. We've got to remove 11 of these plastic clips. Now these clips, they actually unscrew, but a lot of time, even from, fa uh, from factory, um, they, they won't unwind. Sometimes you have to get a, a, a small pick underneath them just to lift them. Okay, next we'll go up in the air and uh, take the uh, front bash plate off. Uh, just, it just gives it easy access up underneath. Okay, the first process is we remove the uh, top cover here and the lower bash plate for ease of access. Okay, here's the cooler. You'll notice that one is slotted. So what we'll do first up is down at the mounting points, down here, you put one, one bolt in so you can just slot the mounting bracket up. We'll show you that. Here's the three mounting points. That one there, I've already pre-fitted the bolt so we can uh, fit the cooler with the slot and one over there and the top one here So we'll sit the cooler down into it. Okay before we lower it down in we'll cut the uh, about in half we'll cut the hose Now we can lower it into place by routing one hose underneath the red support bracket now with the M6 bolt provided and the three spacer washers, we'll just bolt that into there loosely. And now we can get the last bolt in. I like to do this from underneath, hence the reason why we take the bash plate off. Some people find it very difficult to be able to get their hand down there to get that last bolt in. So we do it from underneath. Okay, now that we've got all, all three bolts in, we can now tighten them up. 13mm spanner down the bottom and a 10mm up the top. Next step is to remove this hose here so we can run, uh, route our lines into there and into there. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now you will find that sometimes these hoses can be quite tight. So sometimes you're forced to put a scar mark with a, with a uh, Stanley knife in the side of it just to loosen it off so you can get them off. What we have found in the past is this line here can be closer in. Um, so what we've done in the, in the past with some vehicles, we just simply get a number three uh, Phillips screwdriver, this one, and we can just tweak it out, bend it out ever so slightly. Where they, where they normally are, it's sort of like about there, 
and all we're doing is bring it out to there. In this case, we don't really have to. Now we'll route the hose, tuck him up around there. And what we'll do is cut him to length here. Peel back the conduit a little. And what we'll do is just trim off a little bit of that conduit. Okay, we're all we're all the way down to that second barb, which is down there. Now I'm measuring up the second cooler line. We'll cut him there. Trim the code conduit back a bit. That went on nice. Okay, now that those two cool hoses are on, uh, all we have to do now is uh, replace our shroud, uh, the bash plate, and we'll pick the vehicle up in the air and um, uh, top up the uh, transmission to the correct level. We'll be topping the uh, transmission up with, uh, via this uh, filler plug. Uh, it's a 24 mil uh, nut, uh, bolt uh, plug, if you like. Uh, there is another one here if you can see that, but they're difficult to get to. You need a, uh, a torx bit for it, a short torx bit. It's a lot easier to get, uh, get, get it with this one here for the uh, guy at home. So we'll put a 24 mil spanner onto it and loosen him up. We're just checking for splits, cuts. It looks all good. Okay, now we'll bring the vehicle back down. I'll start it up, crack the, uh, the check plug, uh, and uh, top it up. I'll get the drain. Our check, our check plug will pop him out. Okay, we'll start to top him back up. Okay, that was one litre. Because it's short hoses and uh, a single cooler, it doesn't take much to top up. We'll let, allow that to dribble. Okay, now we can pop him back in. And now it's all topped up. Last thing to do is replace our, uh, our filler plug, tighten it up, and we're all done. That's him. 
Okay, now that's all done, last thing you do is take the vehicle for a bit of a drive, bring it back, make sure there's no leaks, and we're finished. That's one of the easiest coolers you'll ever fit.